Thanks for tuning in to the Palm Beach Podcast, a weekly show highlighting people making a positive impact in Palm Beach County. With your hosts, sports chiropractor and athletic trainer, Dr. James Spencer, photographer and art director, Mike Jones. Our show is brought to you by Pump House Coffee Roasters, Opportunities, Indo Board, and Lotus Trips for travel and retreats to Palm Beach County. Hello, and welcome to the Palm Beach Podcast. My name is Mike Jones, hanging out at Meaty Zone with a couple cool people. Dr. James Spencer, how are you doing today? You know, it was a beautiful sunny skies out there as always, coming over Blue Heron Bridge, checking out Peanut Island. So again, we're lucky to live here. We are, and we're lucky to have a special guest with us today whose last name you definitely know how to pronounce. Uh, Yes, Allison of the Delray Foodie. Welcome to Media Zone. Perfect, perfect. (laughs) I love that pronunciation. It started with a W. Yeah, (laughs) Allison W, perfect. Perfect, yes. So welcome to the the studio and uh, welcome to the Palm Beach Podcast. Thanks, guys. I'm so excited to be here. This is so much fun and I love having fun, so I could tell you guys do too. Yeah, absolutely. And we also love food. Oh, please. So you did bring some food to the studio today for us totally, today, Totally, right? yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I okay. actually might have left it in the elevator, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would have taken some uh, tacos or something, even mm-hmm. if it's like a Thursday. Yeah, well, speaking of tacos, that's what I have for lunch today. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your brand, your Instagram, mm-hmm. and uh, kind of what you're doing in Palm Beach? Sure, yeah, I'd love to. Um, I'm here in Palm Beach because I am Allison of the Delray Foodie, and I have my little funny tagline that I love food so much I majored in it in college. Um, so yeah, I am the Delray Foodie, and I guess it was about a year or so ago, I was sitting in Rocco's Tacos, of course, staring at my food, and I've always known I wanted to be in the food industry, and then all of a sudden it hit me, like, let's round out that resume, um, and let's start blogging about food and taking pictures of food, and I just, honestly, I believe that food tells a message, and there's so much you can tell about a person from what they eat, what they like to eat, it brings people together, food is good vibes, and here we are, about almost a year later now, so. Well, it's so cool that, you know, you studied food, and then you also now are going into the career of working in the food and beverage industry. And mm-hmm. it's just nice that, you know, you're following your passion and it tastes good along the way, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I went to St. Joe's, studied food marketing, um, and I have a lot of experience in the food industry, I'd say. So I've kind of just been playing around with it. And one day it hit me. I was like, well, there it is. Like, you know what you want to do. And now let's just pedal to the metal and do it. Mm-hmm. I love it. And, you know. Coming from two grandparents who owned restaurants here, uh, we can definitely vibe with that. So we'd like to hear more kind of honestly, what's what's your goal with the Delray Foodie? What would you like to do with it? Wow, what a great question. Um, I mean, there's a couple things. One, like I love being able to use Delray Foodie as my platform that I can honestly give back to the restaurants that I love and I spend so much <laughs> time at, honestly. I feel like it's just a great, I don't know, I love, Instagram's great because pictures tell a story, not even to be cliche or however you say it. So I'd love to be able to use Delray Foodie to honestly make a difference. Like I love food. I want to communicate that. If it's just recommending a restaurant to make somebody's day that much easier, that's great. If it's one day I could share a recipe on it to help somebody eat better, that's great. I just, I'd love to use Delray Foodie to just make a difference. That's all I want to do. I want to make somebody else's life a little better, a little easier. And I think it's really great timing because right now, like the mom and pops, the small businesses, the small family owned restaurants, Mm -hmm. they need that marketing and that exposure more than ever. Yeah. And so for you to find a way to give back while also, you know, enjoying some good food along the way exactly supporting locals yeah no and it's crazy because like the littlest thing somebody will be like thank you so much in all caps for reposting me and i'm like of course like why wouldn't i like i want to do that and i want to make everybody feel like thanked and give a shout out and all that so yeah well and that's how i think we came across your content was uh, our boy adam jones from jupiter donuts Mm -hmm. um reposted your stuff and i was like all right well we got to check this out so 
Great it's donuts. cool to see that. Oh yeah, you know mm-hmm. that. Oh yeah, I love donuts. So. And I, like that's the beauty of the Palm Beach podcast and yeah. everyone that we've had on this show, fantastic people, and they hang out with fantastic people as mm-hmm. well. And so like our who we bring on the show, the work almost does itself. You know, we see who's hanging out with who and mm-hmm. and um really it's just our job's easy. We get to sit here and ask open ended <laughs> questions. You get the heart you got the hot seat over there. Mm-hmm. But why don't you share, like, where did you think you got your first love of food? Like, where was that? Was there a moment? Was there a meal? Easy question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so my family is very big and very amazing. And I grew up, and well, I'm Italian, Polish, Irish, you name it. But my mom would always make pizza on Friday nights. So, like, for me, yes, the pizza was great. Yes, I love food. But that's kind of when I realized, like, wow, this is what – brings people together. So every Friday night, my family, my grandparents, my friends would come over. My mom would make pizza. And I was like, wow, I literally love food. And then I was getting ready to go to college. And I was between another school in St. Joe's. And I think it was my dad that was like, you know, they have food marketing here. And I was like, well, we all know I'm a foodie. So it sounds perfect to me. And honestly, the rest is history. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And and Give the the listeners a little bit about how did you even end up in Palm Beach? So my family has just always been coming to Delray. And there's just something about Delray that feels right. So Palm Beach feels right. South Florida is just good vibes all the time. So, I mean, I guess that's that's pretty much what it is. Like, I, I don't know. Like, well, and you were saying before the show that your family's from Jersey. Yes. Yep. And the Jersey Shore mm-hmm. on in the summer times is fantastic. Yep. Like, I don't know, like everywhere from like Belmar all the way down to like Long Beach Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah, I love it. Everyone's getting together with their family, beach mm-hmm. house, big meals, going out. Exactly. And so I think, you know, they'll raise like Jersey in the summer, except no, you guys have is. to have winter up there. Yeah, but we always <laughs> say like it's there's so, it's such a similar. I don't know. There's just always been something about Delray that felt right. It felt like home. It felt familiar. They are. It's Delray is just like the perfect aspects of New Jersey, but by the beach and it's warm all the time, honestly. Year round, baby. Mm-hmm. And you can, you know, jump on the bright line or in your car and get to like Fort Lauderdale or Miami pretty quick. Yes. You can come up to Jupiter. Uh-huh. And speaking of Miami, my sister goes to the U. So it's oh, all kind of the perfect storm. <laughs> She's a smart cookie. <laughs> yep. What's she studying? She is I want to say it's poli sci. Sure. But she's also kind of just studying. Hopefully it comes to her what she actually wants to do. But I'm pretty sure her official major is political science. That's awesome. I should probably yeah. know that, but whatever. Yes. You got your own stuff going on. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes you have to go try something and see if you like it or not. Exactly. You know, I thought I was going to go to school for like computer science. And I was like, that sucks. But I like graphic design. Yeah. And so it took like a fail. And a dropping out of a class, you yeah. know, to be like, I, I'm not even going to put myself through that for a, for a full semester. Uh-huh. And there's like a grace period for like 10 days after the semester starts where you could drop. Oh, please. And I was like, I, I, I knew in one day that I didn't want to do it, let alone 10. But it's yeah. cool that, you know, sometimes you have to make a mistake on the way or oh. figure it out yeah. as it goes. I almost um, accidentally majored in accounting. Yeah, no, that, that would have just been something else. But yeah, I almost accidentally did that. Thank goodness I yeah, did. Yeah, you were like decimal points look like pepperonis. Oh no, literally, <laughs> I got. I think it was like I got my first. I don't even want to say a hundred. I think I was like in the eighties on an accounting exam, and I was like, oh my gosh! Like, I called my dad and I said, I I think I might have to be an accounting major. And my mom was like, oh heck no, you're not. So yeah, that was just. Thanks, mom. Yeah, thanks, mom, <laughs> honestly. And I'll stand up straight for her, too. You Uh-oh. got to. No yeah, slouching. stand up straight, no slouching. <laughs> so, yeah, and and so I'm going to call you out. What's uh, what's your favorite? We'll go favorite restaurant mm-hmm. on the Ave. Oh, goodness. And or favorite tacos on the Ave. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, So I wish I could have a favorite restaurant by food group because mm-hmm. if so, I'd have three different ones. You but, can. Yeah, oh, it's it's just, yeah, you can. Exactly. Oh, yeah, okay. So honestly, when my dad's paying, cut. <laughs> sure. Thanks, dad. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, dad. So this what do you is, get there? Steak? Um, steak. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mac and cheese, cream corn, the whole nine yards. 
Yep. Um, so that's got to be up there. And then my other two are Dead Tide, El Camino. I love El Camino and Rose's Daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're just, I guess you could give it Mexican and then Italian food, but they're both so good. Um, the ambiance is great. The drinks are even better. So, yeah, that's. Yeah, I love amazing. El Camino. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what was that sneaky happy hour you were talking about before? Oh, yeah. El Camino late night happy hour. Mm-hmm. 50% off top shelf tequilas. Hey, thank Dangerous. you, El Camino. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's the um, for the late night happy hour that, sure. yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing. And so how does it work? What's your thought process when, like, do you look at your feed and you're like, oh, I need to, like, get some mexican food or you're like i'm just hungry for this or do you plan it out like how is it organic wow so that's an even better question so i have i always say i have so much content it could last me a lifetime i'm one of my family's five and then my friends know the drill when i'm eating or we're eating it's the delray foodie literally eats first so i take pictures of everybody's (laughs) food oh my brother gets so annoyed and he's like this is him his food comes like he just sits back because he knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows the drill. Like it's like nobody touched their food, nobody touched their drinks. I got to take my pictures. So I honestly, I have a lot saved up. My videos are somewhat organic. I would say they, I post them as I feel, and then I take a look at my feed, and it's like, what does the Delray foodie need? What do the people need? And so that's kind of how I pick it. I really like how you're just. It's very organic as far as growing and and the message that you're pushing and. Being a young entrepreneur, it's yeah. it's cool to see that that passion's kind of experienced same thing that we uh, you know experience is we say the energy is palpable. Oh oh my goodness! Don't get me started about energy. I am <laughs> the biggest energy believer. I don't even know what you would call it, but I just believe if you put it out there, it comes back. I always say, inhale the good, exhale the bad, and sure. just the good vibes will roll. Honestly, organically, like you guys said. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can apply yoga, breathing to, <laughs> to food and, and entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I try to meditate. It doesn't really work because I'm like a million miles an hour all the time. <laughs> try, try a guided one. No, I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I end up always just wanting like a Tito's and seltzer in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> and like doing your grocery checklist in exactly. the background while it's all happening. Oh, yeah. So my eyes are closed, but it's like I want this, I want that. I'm thinking about this person, that person. Yeah. You so what's go. your favorite happy hour on the, the app? My favorite happy hour is my favorite deal or my favorite spot? Spot. Sandbar. Yeah. Next question. Yeah. yeah. No, literally <laughs> next it. question. Oh, easy. yeah. Mm-hmm. Roll off the beach, close my laptop. It doesn't matter where I'm in. I'm going to the sandbar. I yeah. love it. And yep. that's, like we were talking about before, 50 mm-hmm. Ocean Above, mm-hmm. Boston's next door. Yeah, I got to get there. I love it. Mm-hmm. Well, Boston's I've been to, but 50 Ocean. 50 Ocean's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. 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 And I think like if you keep going down this path, eventually mm-hmm. like some restaurant is going to hire you to help build a menu to help take photos or mm-hmm. make suggestions for their mm-hmm. social media. So I think you'll find that just taking your passion, it could sprout like three different yeah. things that you never planned on because really who has like the full vision of what's going to happen next yeah no like that would be amazing and i always say when people ask me what do i want to do i just hands back i'm doing what i love and i honestly trust the process that it'll all just work out honestly i just this has just been already so exciting i feel like delray foodie is such an outlet to me that i have fun my friends have fun my family has fun so it's kind of just how'd you come up with the name the delray foodie yeah um Honestly, I don't know. Like, I've always just, like, I wish I had an answer. Like, I just can vividly remember sitting, thinking to myself, like, I want to be the Delray foodie. Like, it just kind of rolled off my tongue. Like, I just, that's what I want. That's what feels right. I, and that's, that's really it. Like, it just felt right, honestly. So is there more than just the Ave? Are there, like, secret places that are off the Ave? Because yeah. it's easy to do the drive down the, sh- the strip and, you know, see it all is. those places. Yeah. Any hidden gems? Um, Brulee Bistro, since that's, have you guys been there? I don't know. You? Where's that at? Oh, that's in Coconut Grove, but it's well down sure. past Rose's. Do- have you guys even been to Rose's Daughter? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. a lot of people know of that place, but same owners. Brulee Bistro is so good. 
it is like they're espresso martinis. <laughs> yeah, no. There was one day that I was like, it was twelve o'clock. I literally ran. That was my exercise for the day. <laughs> they, they opened at twelve. My friend drove, but I I ran to um, Brulee Bistro. I was like, this is perfect. I'm getting my exercise in, and then I on my lunch break had a couple espresso martinis. Yeah. It's a good move. It's uh, the bicep curls, right? Yeah, like no, the, exactly. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's like, what will make you run faster other than thinking about getting some Delray booty content? And speaking yeah. of speaking of the ab, we got to give a little shout out to John over at Hopportunities for the uh, the Mighty Swells, mm-hmm. which if you haven't been there, yeah, it's incredible. So they got uh, a bunch of local craft brews, probably 50 or 60 taps, yeah. where it, you pay per ounce. Mm-hmm. I've actually been there. I'm pretty oh, sure for cool. their wings. Uh, no, maybe not. No food. Okay, then never yeah, mind. No food. It's like the froyo of beer, oh. where you like pay by the ounce and you get like a fancy bracelet thing. And yeah, I wonder where I'm thinking of. But awesome, I'll have to try. Yeah, yeah. And you can sprint there too. Yeah, no, I can sprint there. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and and we will thank Mighty Swell because yes. uh, they're delicious seltzers. Yes. Cheers to them. Cheers. Thank you but, so much. But not peach for you because no, no. we learned that. You had a bad experience with peach Mm -hmm. in college, right? Oh, yeah. I ruined peach for myself in college for sure. But the cherry lime's delicious. No, this is amazing. I love it. I was just saying this is so good. I think I did the same with black licorice. Oh, really? Yeah, you're just like, "Mm, I'd I'd rather not. I can't do that either, honestly. Okay. Mm -mm. It's a tough one. Like even Sambuca, (sighs) I'd rather have a different liqueur. Give me some Grand Marnier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I love it. Mm Mm-hmm. So uh, l- what's the next restaurant that you're about to explore? Um, untapped or already tapped? A mm. place that I can't wait to try mm-hmm. or... Um... We'll take both. Okay. So the next place is El Camino because I'm going there tonight. Um, so that's the next one that I'll actually explore. Um, and then I haven't been to Dada, which I... Have you guys ever been there? Phenomenal. Uh, that's what everybody Phenomenal. says. And this is so cliche, but just... I haven't made my way. Well, I actually have because I've been to Docs and that's great. Um, I haven't been there yet. My um, family's a little bit picky sometimes with what oh. they eat. And I know that that's not a, it's not a funky menu, but unique. So. Yeah, super cool outdoor little spot too. Yeah. yeah. Um, another place I would highly suggest is Poor and Famous. Okay. Which is uh, a little further down on the Ave. Um, our, our buddies over at Sweetwater. Okay. This is one of their sister uh branches down there but yeah. super cool bar that uh i'd highly recommend okay yeah no i i definitely will be there next so how does it work when you're like planning this out is it like do you have a group of friends that you like to go with do you go solo sometimes is it always with the family um family friends whoever's hungry i'm not even kidding sometimes it's like it's annoying i had to warn my parents that get ready, I'm doing my espresso martini tour. So I hope you guys are thirsty because that is wow. like, I can't get my brain off of it. So I was telling you guys earlier, I told my mom like, don't forget the good camera. Like you're gonna follow me around, but yeah. yeah. So it kind of, whoever's in the mood to eat and have fun. Yeah. Sounds like a terrible time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure like the boys in the family are just like, I'm ready to eat already. Oh, eat, drink, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah no, they're ready. Mm-hmm. So the espresso martini tour, huh? Oh, yeah. When's that going to start? Well, fun fact, I make a very good espresso martini. Mm-hmm. Godiva? Uh, no. I call them just teenies, espresso teenies. So I make them. And my friends know, like, when we're getting tired, like, all right, Allison, let's go. It's like coffee shots or espresso martinis, one of those. And I will not tell you my recipe. Uh-oh. Just kidding. It's tender love and care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Family secret, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. Yep. Those ingredients. Yep. So we, when I first heard of like uh, cafe tequila, oh, we we would we would have these shots from from Sweetwater is when mm-hmm. I first started hearing about it, and it was anytime you sat down, it was here's your cocktail and then here's a cafe tequila shot on the house. Right? I love it, yeah. I and and they were so good that I just I became a regular there for a while, and I said, hey, uh, I need a Christmas gift for my family, and they're like, we got you, we'll make bottles. <laughs> And the next thing you know, they started brewing up by, uh, bottles with little pirate tags of cafe tequila on it. Oh, wow. And it was amazing. So every cool. time I go there now, I'm like, boys, we got to have one. That sounds amazing. That's similar. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what happens when you are a regular. Yeah. You know, like we've all had a bartender know our name at one point in our life, I'm sure. Yeah. 
And there's perks to that. Mm -hmm. And like we've probably all kept the lights on at one place or another throughout college or our adult lives. Maybe even when you're fake ID and as a teenager. But um, (laughs) it's, you know, it's great because we come from mom and pop places and it's you take care of us. We'll take care of you, whether you get a little extra macaroni and cheese Mm -hmm. or a little extra pour on top of that drink. Yeah. And it's symbiotic, you know, Mm -hmm. because then now you're sharing it with people. You're telling your friends and family that this place is great. And, you know, for them, what's one more ounce of something? Takes care of itself. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'd say for my friends, I'm probably the bartender, though. I'm not kidding. (laughs) I have a lot of talents. And it's great that, you know, you found something that inspires you because it's very obvious just from sitting across the table from you Mm -hmm. that this drives you, that this, like, you know, you get excited. Oh, yeah. You know, if someone whispered martini to you you'd probably like get the chills you know you'd be like i'm like who's ready let's go sure (laughs) that's cool Mm -hmm. so is um do you ever see the delray foodie maybe expanding to maybe the jupiter foodie or the fort lauderdale foodie yeah is there room for growth in that or do you want to yes go home on the ave there's plenty of room so i say um follow me while i eat my way down atlantic ave and beyond is what will be added to it so i honestly want to take delray foodie wherever i go whenever i go and i'm hoping that um my website spoiler alert will be a really Uh great outlet for that so you want to do more food blogging yes i want to do food blogging reviews recipes i want to have some merch (laughs) yeah no i just honestly i i would vlog i don't even know i'm just kind of like i said letting it all unravel trusting the process if you will so well you could sign us up for two Mm t-shirts and if you do flat brim flat bill hats i know that i know this guy will take one oh that's good to know do you have a color preference uh black yeah black yeah Mm -hmm. as you couldn't tell with like the walls and and everything around us literally love the walls what do you think about media zone i think media zone is awesome this is so cool and i think that Immediately when I started talking to you guys, I could tell you guys were all about spreading the good vibes, the good energy, making people feel good. And I think that's amazing. So I am the number one fan for that. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got crystals and nog champa and salt rock lamps and everything out there, you know, (laughs) and shark's teeth. Yeah, Mm -hmm. of course. Yeah, love that. A little bit of everything. But it is so true that like, you know, sometimes you just have to manifest your own destiny and surround yourself with good people, with good energy. Uh And that's how we've always felt about our friendship and and in business as well. We want to work with people that are like you, that are passionate about their craft and so passionate and and people like we don't want you to have to worry about like a camera or a microphone. We want you to just come in here and tell everyone about the fantastic experiences that you've had, you know? Yeah, it's amazing. Honestly, I didn't think you guys were going to touch on manifesting. I'm literally Uh, the biggest believer of send it out to the universe, and it'll come back the way it's meant to. So I love that. I'm such a believer in it. It's meant to be. It'll be. Well, Mm -hmm. I think you might have to um, give some thanks. Yes. I would love to give Who's some people that helped you get to where you're at today? Uh, I have the best friends and family. I can't even get started. My friends, my people, they know who I'm talking about. My twin brother, Alex's friends are included in that. Um, (laughs) And of course, my sister, Rachel, and my mom and dad. They are amazing. They've given me all the tools I could have ever asked for to do this, do what I love and be passionate and just can't wait to see what the future holds. So thank you, everyone. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, I think on that, ready to wrap it up? Yeah, yeah. cheers to that right cheers. there. That's Bittersweet cool. Bittersweet ending because oh. this has been amazing. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much for coming cheers. on the Palm yep, Beach Podcast. Yep. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of the Palm Beach Podcast. Brought to you by Pump House Coffee Roasters, Indoboard, and Lotus Trips for travel and retreats to Palm Beach County.